back to alpha mod. So basically today I'm going to be showing you how to reset that service maintenance light. Um, or basically that message that shows up whenever you go beyond or exceed um, the interval. So most dealerships, again, I'm not going to repeat this throughout, but they're going to say you have to come to the service center and get it done. Uh, you have to pay these exorbitant prices on um, uh, pretty simple like do-it-yourself maintenance stuff um, in order for you to get this light reset. Um, well, that's not true. Um, if you have this software called MES, um, I'm going to put the download link below. It's $50 for the license. Um, you'll need this cable from Amazon. Um, this one I think it costs like 50 bucks as well. And a functioning laptop. And basically from there you'll be able to reset your own light. Um, or, well, the notification that tells you the scheduled maintenance. And it's pretty awesome to be able to do that because it kind of gives like a, you know, power back to the owner. And I think that's really important, uh, especially when you're owning one of these vehicles that um, dealers like to take advantage of owners um, as far as making them pay a lot of money for small items. Like, for example, I think they wanted um, somewhere around 450 or so for spark plugs or um, 750 for the serpentine belt and the oil change. Um, all of which can be done either by yourself or at a third party shop. Um, as long as you have this software, then you should be in good shape. Okay, we're gonna be doing the maintenance light. So what you guys need to know is that key has to be on. You're gonna go ahead and select Julia 2.0, go to service, service interval, Hit connect. Go to adjustments. Okay, keep in mind before executing this that you want to make sure all your maintenance is done. That way, you know, you keep everything up to date properly. But this is how you do this in MES so that you don't have to go to the dealership. So that's to get rid of the... Uh, annoying little uh, message that comes on that lets you know saying hey you need to reset or service maintenance required um, so we're going to go ahead and execute complete and now we're going to disconnect So again, make sure that you do your serpentine belt, make sure you're doing your oil changes, make sure you're doing your spark plugs. You want to make sure you get all those things out of the way before you go ahead and reset this. So this is basically how to use MES, which is a software tool um, that you can download and it costs 50 bucks, but a dealership will tell you they're the only ones that can do this. That is not true. Um, you as an alpha owner uh, fully have the capability to do this. Um, I'll link all the other items you need as well as the this particular cable that goes into the uh, computer to the OBD2 down there. Um, but as you can see, from the car being off to the car being on, there's no longer a message saying that anything needs to be done. And we are good to go. Okay, so you'll probably hear me repeat this, but I'm just going to say this as a warning. Please don't reset this unless you actually have done the maintenance. So, serpentine belt, um, you want to get that done. You want to get your spark plugs done. You want to get your oil change done. Everything that's going to be required um, as far as what Alpha would want you to do in the intervals. Uh, for me, I did the spark plugs at around um, 43,000 miles instead of 60. Uh, serpentine belt was done um, as well a little bit earlier. Um, oil changes for me, I've been doing them every 5k just because it, it really does, um, it's a good investment. You know, you want to keep this multi-air engine um, happy and as clean as possible. So I definitely recommend doing um, oil changes at around like 
the 5,000 mark. But just make sure that you're doing those things before you reset this and you're not just doing it just for the sake of getting rid of the message.